Good morning, good morning. Happy Thursday, happy Friday Eve. Good morning, good morning. Hey there, Harvey Eva. How are you this morning? Good morning, good morning. Hey, Harvey Andrea, Harvey Tisha. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning to everyone. Hope you guys got sweet sleep on last night. Woke up with bells and whistles. Hey, Heartbeat Belinda, good morning. How are you? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, Harvey Juanita, Harvey Dars, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you all. Hey, Heartbeat Rabina, good morning, good morning, good morning. We are going to go ahead and get started here. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. Welcome to the Gathering of Hearts on this morning. And today, your daily dosage is take the exit. Take the exit. And so we know that when we are all traveling and we are on an airplane, one of the things that they go over before the plane takes off is they tell you the exit plan, what you're supposed to do. When we stay at a hotel, there's always an exit plan on the back of the door to show you the closest or the nearest um, stairwell where you need to go if you need to escape quickly. And so even in this life that we live, God has always given us an exit plan. You know, temptation is a part of life, but we've got to know how to escape it. Amen. And so when we look at 1 Corinthians 10, 13, um, the King James Version, I'm going to read it in three translations this morning. Um, the King James Version says this. It says, there have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. And so he did not say that he would take the temptation away. He said that you may be able to bear it. And so we know when temptation comes, the best thing to do is to get out of it quickly, to flee, to run. You know, Joseph showed us this when, you know, Potiphar's wife was coming on to him and he was just like, no lady, I don't care how fine you are. I don't want no parts of it. He was like, your husband trusts me with his life. He trusts me with everything. But the temptation was there. She kept on trying to come on to him. She kept on trying to flirt with him. And what did Joseph do? He fleed. Amen. And so we've got to learn how to do the same thing. We've got to learn to take the exit. See, I am a dog mom and in training a dog, training my little dog when I didn't want her to do anything I'm saying no I'm saying no and no matter what it is that I'm saying no to if her eyes stayed on whatever it was that she wanted her focus was there but when she began to turn away and realize no I can't have that and she began to focus on me her master then you know she made a way of escape what am I trying to say to you that if we would take our eyes off of that thing that's tempting us and learn to put our eyes on the master, our father, our God, the word that he has given us as a way of escape to turn that plate down, to turn that, you know, that flesh, you know, not look at the flesh, but to look at the master. Now we're able to focus and do what it is that God has called us to do. And so the passion translation says it like this. It says, we all experience times of testing, which is normal for every human being. And so temptation is normal. It's going to happen in your life. It's just one of those things. It says, but God will be faithful to you, which means God is going to give you an exit plan. You've got to take the exit. God is going to tell you what to do. You've just got to listen. It says he will screen and filter the severity, nature, and timing of every test or trial you face so that you can bear it. We can even look at Job's life. Job went through so much and he was tempted to curse God and die. Remember his wife? Everybody was like, why are you still, you know, serving? Why are you still praising this God? But he made a way of escape for him. He was able to bear all of the things that were coming up against him. And so then it says, in each test is an opportunity to trust him more. What did um, Job do? He, he wouldn't curse God. He still remained faithful. He still believed that God was God. Even with the... um. Daniel, um, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fiery furnace. 
all through that, you know, they were tempted to not trust God, to go ahead and bow, you know, to these other gods. And they were like, no, we're not going to do that. He says, my God will provide. My God will, um, you know, take care of us. And then he said this, but even if he, he doesn't, he's still God. He's still faithful. He's still the best thing ever. It says in each test is an opportunity to trust him more for along with every trial, God has provided for you a way of escape that will bring out of it victoriously winning. And so listen, it doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter what you're facing. God is making or God has made a way of escape for you. Again, you've got to take the exit. The message version, and I'm going to close with this, it says, no test or temptation that comes your way is beyond the course of what others have had to face. All you need to remember is that God will never let you down. He'll never forsake you. He'll never leave you. He says, assuredly not over in Hebrews 13. And I believe it's the Amplified or the Amplified Classic Version. Well, he says, assuredly not. I will not. I will not. I will not give you up, leave you without aid, leave you without support. And so it says, all you need to remember is that God will never let you down. He'll never let you be pushed past your limit. But again, you've got to take the exit. Then it says this, he'll always be there to help you come through it. And so again, you've got to take your eyes off of what the flesh desires. You've got to take your eyes off of what you want. You've got to take your eyes off of it. But now you've got to put your eyes on the master. Hear what the master is saying, opening up our spiritual eyes, opening up our spiritual ears so that we can see and we can hear the, the exit plan that God is giving us and then take it. Again, just like when you travel and you're at the um, airport, you're on the plane, they're always giving instructions first before the plane takes off, before you get into it. They're always telling you what the exit plan is. And our God is so loving. He's so faithful. He does the same thing. Before you step foot in it, before you allow your flesh to take over, he's always giving giving you an exit plan. The question is, are you listening? Do you see it? Take the exit plan. Hey, listen, that's your daily dosage for today. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel already, please do so. There you can find all of your dosages in one place. And I promise you, if you overdose on these dosages, no negative side effects. It'll just make you better. Follow me on social media platforms. God wants me whole. Visit the website, GodWantsMeWhole.org. You you know how we do this thing. Come on and say it with me. Say, God wants me whole and I am getting whole by the minute. Again, I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. I love you guys a bunch. Go out there and have a spec wild amazing day. And remember, take the exit. Don't fall into temptation. See you in the morning.